Okay, so um, let's talk about the story that uh, a lot of people are talking about right now, which is the final segment of SmackDown from Friday night. Becky and Charlotte title exchange. There was some that rough was like, stuff. Okay, okay. Before we even talk about what happened, that was like a really just the whole everything about that was a was a dumb idea to the point of you know that like they should have just. They should have just had Bianca Belair should have won Monday. Yep. Sasha Banks should have won Thursday. Yep. And the title exchange is just so stupid. It was stupid last year. It was stupid again this year. This year was, you know, it was all botched. But even even if it went like the way it was supposed to, and it didn't really go. I mean, it went a little bit different than it was supposed to. But even if it went exactly what it was supposed to, it would have been like terrible anyway. So, um it's just the, just the whole idea of it is just, you know, I don't like I didn't I wouldn't have liked that idea. But, yeah, Charlotte got mad. Um, she'd expressed some problems with it. And then she accidentally dropped the belt, which is her story that she accidentally <laughs> dropped the belt. I did not think it was an accident. And Becky sure didn't think it was an accident. And they yelled at each other backstage. There was nothing physical. And um when Charlotte's, I guess when Charlotte said it was an accident, people didn't buy it, and she got booted out of the building last night in Wichita. So, because Becky still had still still had a dark match, right? Um, I guess so. I didn't. I did that. I didn't even know. By you know, maybe she was advertised for a dark match. Yeah. So this the earlier in the show, Becky had done an interview saying that you know she was going to be Becky two belts. So she teased the idea of holding up both belts. And when they went to do that moment, that's when Charlotte pulled away as Becky went to grab the belt. And that's when the belt hit the mat. So that sort of moment that they looked like they were trying to create is is what got botched there. And, and yes. probably the source of the frustration. Um, I mean, I guess it was like Charlotte not wanting to make it look like, you know, Becky got a pop. And then here's the whole thing that's so funny about it is like. And I mean, you if you, you know, I mean, Becky's supposed to be a heel. The whole thing, the whole segment was set up for her to look like a baby face, which is, I mean, I don't, you know, that's not, I'm, there's no excuse for Charlotte and what she did, but I'm just saying, it's like, think about that. That's stupid yeah. too. Um, even though like they, they've gone, I think that they've like, I don't want to say they've given up on the Becky Lynch heel thing, but they've, um, I think that they've acknowledged it didn't work and they're kind of like, you know, like, like in, in all of her matches, she's not even really working heel. She just did that heel spot at the end at crown jewel, you know, to like show that she's a heel. Um, but, but you know, like she's not, you know, she's getting cheered and she's not really doing anything to major to, to turn the people like she tried to do the, the first couple of weeks. And, um, you know, I don't know, maybe Charlotte, felt like this was her show now and so therefore it shouldn't be putting becky over and then the whole segment was supposed to be about banks anyway and yep. that's that's fine you know so banks is now a baby face which is i mean it's probably what it should be because the way that they you know without putting baszler over um they pretty much limited that side you know i guess they're going to do something with naomi as a baby face but it's really charlotte and but not not right away i mean not on not not against flair right away so it's basically back to charlotte and, and sasha banks because they don't elevate anyone and in that's in that situation sasha banks has to be a baby face again so she was you know it, it, it's and 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 you know i mean that's fine and it's, and it's it's what they should have done i mean she should be the baby face in that situation so that's fine but yeah the whole situation was um you know i don't know what what you know how they'll how they'll address it you know i don't think they want to i don't think they want to lose charlotte flair i mean their their depth is on the women's side is so weak anyway maybe they will i don't know um flipping the question around though does do you think that she wants to be there that's a really you see with there's there's no way that i can even make a reasonable guess because like i could make a reasonable guess on something where you know you would think logically and everything but i don't think there's anything to that right now so it's possible her her um you know andrade's there they're very close um 
Andrade wants his whole family there, you know, I mean, you know, Roosh and Ric Flair and everything. And it's, you know, I don't think Ric Flair is going to be there. And, um, but I don't know what her, her contract situation is, you know, the, and, um, you know, but I would think I, like I say, I would think Andrade would want her there and, you know, so. And, and that was what his tweet was about, right? When the, the F U W I don't know that? if it was okay. So I don't know if it was that it could have been, or it could have been, no, oh, did you, you know, did you see my I, match? I, did you see my match? Yeah. Did you see my match? Like, I, I don't think like, again, like trying to figure out which of the two it is. My gut says that it's not the match because it's like, he really wouldn't. I mean, yeah, he had a, he had a great match. We all know that, but I don't know. I think that it might be over uh, over Ashley. Well, now that we heard that she was taken out of the building, that that's what I I, so, I sort of when I heard that, that's what I yeah thought. yeah no that's why I thought that's why I thought that too yeah I, I I mean I think that I don't I mean we'll you know we'll probably know that one within a day or two um, I'll I'll. Yeah, I'll dig around on that, but I would, I would, you know, and he'll probably, well, I don't know what he'll say because who knows, like, because whatever he says, it's, um, it's going to cause a lot of controversies. If he says, if he says it's about the match, you know, people will be really mad. If he says it's about her, then, you know, it makes that story bigger, which she doesn't need that story to be bigger right now. <laughs> so yeah. Wow. Um, but that tweet did, um. I guess it shouldn't surprise me. I mean, really, nothing from them should surprise me <laughs> if I really think about it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then, I mean, we we wouldn't know, but, you know, her being chaperoned out of the building doesn't sound great, especially, you know, she's expected to, to be on TV, <laughs> like, you know, every week. Yeah. And, and she's the women's star on the, on the SmackDown brand. Yeah. Um, you know, Fox has wanted her from, you know, for, for two years. And, um, you know, so that's part of it, too. Um, yeah, I I don't think that they like I said, like I don't think that they want to get rid of her, you know, on the flip side. She's no, nobody is indispensable. I mean, like nobody. I mean, even Roman Reigns, who's the, the most. If I had to name a most indispensable guy in the roster, Roman Reigns, but look, he was gone for a long time and then the machine turned on like with, without missing a beat, you know, ratings and SmackDown weren't the best for sure. They, you know, but, um, you know, he, you know, but yeah, I mean, they could go with, you know, Sasha Banks and try to ele uh, elevate Shayna Baszler, elevate, elevate a couple other people and they could. You know, it'd be a weak division, but they could do it. It's not going to make or break. It's not going to make a, a, any kind of a significant difference in ratings at all. So, I we'll see what we'll see how they react to it. It's uh, it's going to be an interesting week. The fallout of this, yes. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.